Hello, everybody. This is David Montesano, founder of College Match. I'm really excited today to present Summer Slide with Valerie Govier. Let me give you a little bit of background on Valerie. She's the owner of Math for Girls. She motivates young girls to find the joys of math. Math for Girls offers private tutoring for girls grades one to seven and group math clubs for girls that are grades three to six. Valley has been called the math whisperer because she gets girls to gravitate toward math and truly enjoy this important subject while breaking down the myth that girls and women are not good at math and help them to provide the right support for girls to thrive. I'm really excited. Give, let's give a warm welcome to Valley Govier. Hi, Valley. Hi, thank you. Let me just start with a great question. It's kind of your origin question. Why and, and, and really, how did you start Math for Girls? Well, I started Math for Girls about 10 years ago, helping young girls thrive in math. And one of the reasons, well, there's many reasons, but one of the reasons is that um, when my mom would tell me about how when she grew up in India, that the girls weren't educated in the same way that boys were educated and that her parents had to stop sending her to school at the age of 11 and because they needed the money to send her six brothers to school and not her. And so she always said that it's really, really important for girls to get educated. So when we moved to England, um, when I was a year old, my mom vowed that me and my sister would get the same education and opportunities as my three brothers. And she made sure that we could dedicate our lives to getting our degrees. And um, she said, with the degree comes a freedom. And that is so true because I feel like my life has uh, really the options and the opportunities that I have are so much greater because of that and I want to be able to do this for all young girls everywhere. Wonderful, I think that's really important. Let me ask you another question, what are the general math attitudes that you've seen? So what I've noticed, generally when the kids come to me, the girls come to me, they say things like, oh, I find math really boring. You, you have to just memorize a bunch of stuff. And so I, I want to, um, and, and also you don't need math and it's not interesting. And so I want to, and I do create a fun environment for learning math. And so when I talk to the girls and I get them and to, to see how, how much joy there is in learning the different aspects of math and getting to the, the reasons why they are stuck. And so a bit of sort of psychology and connection so that they can feel safe and open and engage in the math that I do. And, uh, and the kids just thrive. They really, really like to understand what's going on. It's not about memorization at all. It's about problem solving and using your brain and having that math agility. And that's what they learn here at Math for Girls. What does Math for Girls focus on specifically? So we focus on a lot of different things. Um, mainly it is about keeping that interest and keeping the fun in math. And so it's about problem solving. It's about um, uh, breaking down a problem into smaller pieces. It's about n knowing what you know and saying, I know that, and then building on from there. Getting the right worksheets. You 
always have to have the Goldilocks worksheets. So it can't be too hard. It can't be too easy. It does have to be just right to get to the next level. And also the most important thing is praising the effort and not the results. The results will show for themselves, but you do praise the effort because when someone comes to Math for Girls and they just think it's about the answers, well, it's not. We have calculators for that. What I want are, are girls who think, problem solve, and then they can thrive in their math. What are some of the things that parents can do to support girls in learning math? So a lot of the times that you will find that uh, some of the girls will have parents, generally the mothers, who are a little bit math shy as well. And so uh, they come to me and I want to break that cycle. And so what parents can do is to support their kids in the right ways. And they should show an interest in learning math the new way. It's not the same as it was 30 years ago. And I'm really glad about that because the way that math is taught now is so much better. You can um, really describe what the problem's about and solve it in many different ways. So I would say to parents to stay really engaged with their kids, ask them questions. And um, I had a parent the other day who phoned me and said, Vali, my daughter says that I'm not teaching her division the right way. And I said, okay, tell me, walk me through what's going on. Because his girl was in tears. And it was because she was learning the partial quotient method of division as opposed to long division. And she was upset because he was teaching her the way he knew. And, not, and so what I would say is ask them questions. What did you learn? How did your teacher teach you? And then show interest. And if you really don't have a clue, Continue to show interest, run to the bathroom, Google what you need to Google, and go out and help them. Great. That, that's good advice. Um, how has math tutoring changed during COVID, by the way? So math tutoring has changed for me during COVID a lot. So because I have the younger students from K through 8, generally they used to come to my uh, house and we would teach in the math room and so I had all of my students a hundred percent face to face. Now I had to pivot and move to hundred percent online. So it was a struggle for me but these kids struggle with their math and so and, and uh, you have to get to the next part which is figuring stuff out and then you have your aha moments. And so I had many aha moments figuring out Zoom and tutoring via Zoom. So now I do 100% on Zoom. There is a lot more collaboration, a lot more, um, uh, a lot of things that I have to do to email the parents and make sure we're all on the same page. And it generally works out better. And this tutoring has been really good via Zoom. That's, that's good to hear. Um, and, and if I'm a parent, how can I engage with my child this summer with math during, you know, during this time of COVID um, to really help stop that summer slide? Yes, that is an excellent question. We really do want to stop the summer slide for sure. Uh, I think that there is enough time in the summer where the kids can just relax. I think that we've had, the kids have had three or four months where it's been quite intense. And so having a few weeks off is a great idea. And then jumping back into it. Again, the support should be, and the focus should be on the effort. And so I would say, 
play games this summer. There are a lot of different board games that are connected to, uh, geared towards math and towards logic and strategies so all of those things are really good so it's simple things like monopoly or you can do a game called Catan um, which is strategy based you could do mastermind which is logic based and then I would also say there are a lot of great worksheet, uh, worksheets that you can get from the websites I've been really inspired by Professor Joe Bowler and uh, from Stanford and also by Carol Dweck uh, with the open mindset. Fantastic. And, and what a great way to, you know, if you can play strategy games with your girl uh, this summer, that sounds like a, a nice family bonding experience. Absolutely. We play lots of games at home. It's really, really great. I love playing games and it's a easy, fun, exciting way to pass the time and yes i do think the strategy games are good also card games are good you can take a pack of cards anywhere and those are really really good well you know speaking of making math fun um you've got a special offer so anyone listening today valley is going to be providing her make math fun handout with tips and tricks to help k through sixth grade students learn that math can be fun to get that handout, please email Valley, and her email address is valley at math-4-girls.com. And in addition, you can ask to be put on Valley's newsletter as well. And if you'd like to reach Valley by phone, you may reach her on 415, area code 627-7261. I wanna thank you, Valley, so much. We had a great conversation. I'd love to have you back for a future time. Sounds great. Thank you, David.